Are you new to live streaming? Have you hit affiliate on Twitch and you're pushing yourself to become a partner? Stick around and we'll discuss the best ways to grow your live streaming empire. Growing a live stream is extremely difficult and getting noticed first is even harder. Trust me, I've been there. In this video, we're going to discuss the stuff that I wish I knew when I started in order to help you guys grow and bump up that viewer count. How's it going everyone? Fizz here with a new video and in this one, we're going to be discussing ways that you can grow your live stream without actually streaming. Before we get into it, I just want to remind you guys to hit like, hit subscribe if you guys did enjoy this. There is more content on the channel and there is more to come in the future. Let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is the Twitch grind mentality or the kind of live stream in general mentality that this is a grind, I need to do it all the time. And I'll be completely honest, I had that mentality when I started as well many years ago and it's so mentally draining to have that mentality when you look at live streaming. Live streaming is something that for a starter you should be doing this for fun and as a hobby not something that you're trying to pursue as a goal but if you are wanting to pursue it there are ways to go about that that don't involve live streaming eight hours a day seven days a week because it's mentally draining it's physically draining and it takes up so much time so much of your life for you to not really make much progress in growing a twitch channel or or a youtube channel if you're live streaming a better way to invest your time even if you're not streaming for eight hours a day, seven days a week, is to actually reduce your streaming hours and start to plan your content and think about what you're going to do while you're live. Doing so will help you produce better content. You will have more things for your community to get involved in. People will be excited to see that you're live and you will be able to plan content that won't work just on Twitch, but it'll also work on YouTube or on TikTok or whatever else you want to share your content. Doing so is effectively doubling or tripling your content while actually streaming less hours. When you start to plan your live streamed content, you can integrate into your plan multiple ways to use that same content over and over again to increase the number of views that it's getting. If you spend 40 hours a week live streaming, it's really detrimental, detriment, detrimental, detriment, detrimental, detrimental to your overall channel growth. Because if you're streaming for 40 hours to 3 or 4 people, like while detrimental is a big word, that's a big waste of time. It's better for you to stream for shorter periods of time to potentially more people. More people might be interested in a shorter stream that you can take, cut out the, the slow parts and post it on YouTube and get 100 views on YouTube. So that's 100 new people potentially that haven't seen this content from you before, have never known you, have never seen you before and they're like oh this person's creating content, I'm going to follow them and I'm going to check them out elsewhere. That extra time that you've taken out of your live stream to edit a video, just simple, cut it up, make it funny and then post it onto YouTube is far more beneficial than live streaming for long periods of time to three or four people. Let's put this into a really quick example. If you are just starting to live stream and you're streaming for five hours a day or five days a week. So let's say you stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and you stream for five hours. So you have 25 hours of content. If you were to reduce your stream hours from 25 to 10, so stream on a Tuesday and a Wednesday or a Tuesday and a Thursday and stream for five hours on those days, you have done 10 hours of live streams, which you have then 10 hours of footage that you can go through, find the highlights from, make two, possibly three YouTube videos from that you can post on the days you don't live stream. You're still building a brand or you're still building your channel. Posting elsewhere with sites like YouTube is going to have a higher, higher discoverability than you do on Twitch. Twitch is really top heavy, so the big streamers get bumped right up to the top and the little streamers are all stuck at the bottom all fighting with each other. Whereas if you go to somewhere like YouTube, if a couple of people watch your YouTube chat, your YouTube video, then YouTube will send it to more people that are interested in the same topics and more people and more people and more people and then the number will kind of snowball if it's doing well and suddenly you can have 200 people seeing a 15 minute video on YouTube whereas you're only getting five or six average viewers on Twitch. It makes a big difference. I do a lot of talking about YouTube 
because I'm a big YouTube user, I enjoy YouTube, I make my own YouTube videos funnily enough and it is also not the only place to grow a live stream. Nowadays with trending apps like TikTok it is even easier to get your own content out there and getting it in front of eyes of hundreds if not thousands of people. When I was doing some research with this video I discovered that in July of 2020, so one year ago this month, the statistics for users on TikTok was 689 million users on TikTok. That is disgustingly large. The great thing about this is that we can take advantage of that. TikTok is a, as we all know, short form content. It's like, what, 15 seconds to 60 seconds or now three minutes. Twitch and YouTube both have features that allow viewers to clip content. These clips can be from 5 or 15 seconds all the way up to a minute. That's the perfect view duration for somebody on TikTok. If you were to be live streaming for the 10 hours that we mentioned before and you get, maybe if you're lucky, 10 clips that are, you think, worthy of posting on TikTok, you post one a day. That's 10 days worth of content you've got for TikTok, which is constantly pushing new content in front of 689 million people. Let's do a bit of math. If you were to grow a TikTok page to 1 million subscribers, that's a, that's a lot of people, okay? I understand that, but for simplicity's sake, we'll say it's a million people. If you were to get 5% of those people to come and look and follow you on Twitch, that's 50,000 people. That's 50,000 people that didn't know about your live stream before that now follow you on Twitch and have a possibility of watching you while you're live. It is extremely difficult to get people from TikTok to come to Twitch, but it has been done. Average Jonas is a really good example of using TikTok to market his Twitch page, where he was posting uh, Sova lineups for Valorant, and he's now a fairly large-sized Twitch streamer. It does work. It can work. And it can work for you if you do it properly. Hopefully you can take some information from this video and it'll help you out on your live streaming journey. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it or if you want to see any more in the future. Catch you guys in the next one.